Hello and welcome to this video. My name's Hayden McLennan and this video is going to be a bit of a tour of my new network cabinet. Yes, I have a network cabinet. If some of you don't know what that is, that's basically where you have network equipment. So you have your Ethernet switch up here, that's those blinky lights there. Then uh, I have a bit of a cable tidy there. Then under that I have a patch panel. Now if I get my key, I can open it up. And then, yes, so there's my, there's the switch. I uh, did an unboxing and a bit of a setup of it in uh, a video previous to this, uh, quite a bit previous to this. It was actually before Chris, uh, no, after Christmas. And uh, that was my bit of a temporary setup for me. And then I got this. So there's a bit of a story behind this. If you guys remember, or if you remember that, the switch I replaced was this, right? This was a 10100 uh, Allied Telsus uh, managed switch and it came from my school and uh, so that's where this cabinet came from as well. Uh, so basically we had some redesigning and rebuilding done there and they re and they and they took out a whole lot of the network cabinets and uh, I went to the IT guy and I was just like hey how's it going? <laughs> Do you have any spare network cabinets? And he was just like, hey, yeah, we have a couple of 6RU ones. You can have this, a few patch leads, a patch panel, and this all for 100 bucks. And I was just like, hell yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty good friends with him. So if you don't know what a patch panel is, uh, it's where you in buildings, in structured cabling, you have, uh, base, you have Ethernet cables just in a big roll and I'm going to show you all this later you have network you have patch cables in a big roll and you cut them off and then you terminate them somewhere so this you terminate them in two places you terminate them at the jack I'm going to show you them later and you also terminate them at the patch panel now the patch panel is the other end of the cable going to like um, it's it's the home basically and then let's take uh, number eight which is what my computer is in you would take the cable, you would cut the cable at one end, which is the jack, then you would come back and then you would roll it back to here, then you would label it or whatever, and then you would terminate that, like uh, since network cabinet, uh, network cables have uh, white, brown, brown, white, orange, white, green, white, blue, white, and blue, and you know, all that, all, you know, and uh, then you punch them down with a chrome tool, which I'm also going to show you later, or a punch down tool, into this, and in the jack, the same way, the same orientation, you know, brown white, blah blah blah, at the other end. And then you get your patch lead, and then you take that, and then you put it into the uh, into the switch, and there you have it all wired up in a jack. So uh, I'll show you the jacks uh, right now. So I'm sure you've all seen these. Uh, this is a network jack. Uh, this has three ports and only two are being used because one of them I uh, didn't want to work. And uh, inside you have, there, these are in pairs. There's one, two, three, four, five pairs. And you basically terminate them in, in this. I can show you this later uh, in a better example. And uh, you terminate them in these with a punch down tool and you get them in the right orientation. And uh, then you do the same thing at the patch panel. And then you have your network jacks. Now I have one, two, three, four of these. I have uh, two threes and two twos. I have uh, a two one beside my bed and I also have a two one uh, on the dividing wall with a sleep belt. And I have a three, three one behind my computer and I have another three one here which is where I do all my uh, computer testing and all that. Also with one of these you have in most modern buildings you would have just this part here, which is uh, flushed on the wall uh, without this box. Now I can't do this because all all of the walls here are exterior walls, which means they have insulation, so there's no room to put just face plates. So I have to have these boxes here which mount onto the wall, and then you feed your cables up through the bottom, and then you uh, then you wire up your faceplate, then you screw your faceplate on, then you have this, which snaps on there, and then it just looks nice. Sorry about the lighting of this portion of the video, I don't have any of my soft boxes pointed in this way. I have one sort of behind me, but face towards where I'm going to show you the patch panel, behind the patch panel and behind the jack and all that. 
and uh, I also have that one there facing towards the same direction but anyway so this is what is called a punch down tool or a crone tool you have two settings you have high and low for the punch uh, I always recommend it on high because this is a 110 blade which means you punch it down it terminates the jack and it also cuts the little wee bit of cable off uh, that's hanging off so this is what a crone tool do does so let's say you have your your network termination there you would have your cable in between that and you would slide that in there then you would basically punch down and then it would punch it down and so it's nice and in there snug and it makes uh, its connection so that's the crone tool now the next the what you need to do is uh, before you get to the punch down bit is you need to strip your cable so you will cut it with uh, let's say wire cutters oh didn't think of that did you and then you would get uh, either a wire stripper or you would do what I did and what I did is I got my pocket knife and I just basically scored a little bit around the edge of it then I pulled it off then I cut down the center of it just a little bit more so there's no uh, slices in the actual pier itself so uh, it doesn't interfere and create cross torque or short out or whatever and then uh, and you can also use this to cut the cable or if you were smart and know how to use one of these which is a cable crimper <laughs> you can uh, cut uh, the cable with that you just I don't know how to use one of those <laughs> so uh, that's what you do with that that's what I did anyway and then you just put your cable in piece I'll show you all this later so this here is what I use to put everything in the rack now the way you put something in a rack is you first of all you get your nut this is called a cage nut nut and screw cage nut and screw right got it yep you, you take that then you put this in the rack you slot that in there that you slot one side in then you slot the other side in now make sure this is behind the rack so this bit isn't sticking out so it's flush then you have that in the rack then you'll get your nut you'll put it through the rack mount piece of equipment then you would stick that through and then uh, with the washer that way so the indent is uh, at the head like that just like that then you would slot that in with the rack mount piece of equipment in the middle then you'll get your uh, number three Phillips head screwdriver I found that number three fit best on them uh, this is number two so not the best example <laughs> then you would uh, screw the piece of equipment in and you'll do that four times so like I was saying before this is all the equipment you'll need for structured cabling in a building so this, ba this, this consists of your patch panel here you have your wall mount either just plate or plate and box and you also have your cable now this was a 50 meter roll of it I've already used probably 20 meters of it this is a patch panel this is what the back looks like so these this is the back of a patch panel uh, now this is jack number one so that's that jack there now you have it in pairs you have your blue white and blue pair you have your orange white and orange pair you have your green white and green pair and you have your brown white and brown pair five pairs right the order you put them in on this one at least blue white blue blue orange white orange green white green brown white brown and then once you slip the slip them in here you then get your punch down tool punch down or crone tool I should say then you make sure you then you make sure the pointy bit of your 110 blade is pointing towards the loose piece of cable on this side and then you stick that in there with pointy side out towards the piece of cable that's dangling and then you basically punch it down like this you should hear uh, you'll hear it do that and then you'll know it's punched down so on the back of so on the wall you would either have just your face plate with a jib or drywall box in it where once you've cut the outside with uh, a jib or a drywall uh, saw right and then you would stick the little wee box in you would stick it in there then you would put it in with uh, jib screws or drywall screws and then you would stick this plate like that and put your two screws through here into that box and on the back it looks pretty similar to the patch panel you would put your blue white in there then you put your blue in there and you'll put your green white in there then you'll put your green in there now you would switch around make sure the cables facing this way then you'll put your orange white in that then you'll put your orange in that then you'll put your and those two then you'll put your brown white in there then you'll put your brown in that one and then 
you'll do exactly the same as on the patch panel. Now this side, you would have the loose piece of cable and then you would punch it down like this. Right? And you'd have the that the pointy bit sticking out towards the loose piece of cable. And make sure that your punch down tool or crone tool is on high. So the way these boxes work is you would put your hole, let's say you're going to put your cable trunking, which was what you would use to hide the cables, uh, either up or facing down like that, it doesn't matter. You do that and then you will screw this onto the wall using either of these holes. You only need two screws, you don't need all of them. And you, you would screw it flush like that, or like that onto the wall. And then you would get your plate and do the same thing as what you would normally do with either an outlet or whatever. So you would stick it down like that, then you'll put your two screws in there, then you'll put your face plate on. Once you've obviously done your cables, you would route the cables up through the hole first, then you'll do your cables, then you'll put it all on there like that. Do you need a web server, game server, or even TeamSpeak server but don't have the resources? Why don't you try VPS Soldiers? A VPS or virtual private server is an operating system you can install and configure on a server in a different country or residence that you can use for your web server, game server, TeamSpeak server, or basically anything else you can access over the net. VPS Soldiers offers competitive plans and pricing and I'm sure there is a plan there right for you. So go to www.vpssoldiers.net for your VPS hosting today. So this is it for the video showing you my network cabinet setup. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gave you some ideas. I hope it taught you a thing or two about structured network cabling. I know this was certainly a learning curve for me and I really enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like button. It shows me and YouTube I'm doing a good job. Also, why you leave a comment giving your thoughts on this video. All right, thanks.